So this is a uh, our uh, I can say like our hero product, the blended. You know, yeah. this smells like your grandfather. Which is uh, yeah. This smells like <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to smell your grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> he would love to hear that. I'm sure. <laughs> Grandfather's a real badass. <laughs> yeah, until, too. until about you know he he still like at eighty three still in his pickup truck into the office every single day until twelve one o'clock walks around his cowboy in his cowboy boots. Um, you know where they come from in Brazil is more resembling to the Midwest than Copacabana Beach. Okay, that's very really cool. My friend always says he's like I show the picture to my friend he goes oh he's a real alpha male. My friend that's a good way of putting it. You can you can fire up the radio and you can show the YouTube. <laughs> 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 Just wait for it to download, it'll have to bump a little bit. He's a real alpha male. male. <laughs> that was like... <laughs> Isn't that the uh, MMA fight gym, alpha male? Isn't that where you're in favor? Yeah, yeah, alpha I think male? so, yeah. It's like... <laughs> so it's a little meme. Does your grandfather bathe in this? Is that... Like, <laughs> it's, it's, like it's, it's morning wild. perfume, you yeah. know? It's like... This is a very much a distinct smell compared to the last one. Mm. This is... It's even more tropical fruity than on the nose than the... Uh, taste it's, it's It's interesting, it'll react... You, not how you expect. And the ABV is high also, 40.5, 41.5 also. Super smooth. Super smooth. Mm. Um, that's that's really the grandfather's blend dry. coming in, which is rounding it off. It's mm. a little dry. Yeah. It has got a dry finish. Which is no. which it works really well. And then we get, where's the ABV yeah. so it carries the taste through the cocktail while we're getting let, lost in it basically. Yeah. That's the delicious. And the aftertaste for me also, you know, it's much more present than mm. with the white, you know, so it stays like it's a long mouth. Finish. Yeah. And, yeah. and it makes me salivate also, it doesn't dry me out. Yeah, totally, yeah. But it makes which me salivate, which makes me want to have more. Because it has that dry yeah. finish, but at the same time it's... It's not that dry, it's just yeah. Yeah. You it's dry with flavor. Yeah, I, I couldn't it's like an acidic cocktail that makes you want more. <laughs> I, like, the hardest thing is to try and describe cachaça to somebody who's never had cachaça mm -hmm. because it doesn't, doesn't translate very well. I think... Yeah. Well, no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> like, the closest you can go... You've said like everything maybe, you can say on <laughs> like, oh, yeah, the, you, Cut it off and I've got an opinion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've always got opinions. Uh, it's just, it's like, you can't really say, well, it's like a Brazilian rum because when people think rum, if you said to me green rum, I'd probably, yeah, like that's where I'd rum. agree, right. get it just a little. Well, like a, a vegetal yeah. rum, which is going to be like an agricole, but most people also haven't had a lot of agricole rums. They, right. they typically have like St. Croix or, or something, Barbados or something, not, or some not of, Martinique. I mean, the majority of the population wouldn't even know that, that there's yeah, a there's difference. A I mean, difference. the majority of the population yeah. is familiar with Bacardi. Right. Yeah. Captain they Martin, don't know it's aged. Don Q. They don't know yeah. any of that. Mm -hmm. Havana like, Club, depending on where you're from, yeah. Right. And then that's the thing also comes back to the, talking about the age, comes back to the aspect of how the liquid looks. Because yeah. if you have caramel, so that looks much darker. So people relate to that and think, okay, this probably it's premium, it's aged. It's, it's like, aged. It's, it's aged, yeah. It's got 20 years in that bottle. It's gonna be, it's it's gotta like, be worth a lot of money. Well, in, in a funny way, that's what we, we try to avoid because the age game is something mm -hmm. that you're only gonna lose to the rum world or the whiskey world. Right. And you don't wanna really play that game. So. Right. And you're gonna lose to the whiskey world. Cause Cause the that's rum world is half the age because they age so well on the islands the that you only need four years to get a really good age for your, you know, it's almost like at that point you're eight or 16 year old Scott. Take it from all over the place. Well. That's something I was curious about. Um, hmm. The barrels that you're aging, what is what is the environment? I mean, like, like you were saying, uh, the Caribbean rum ages very fast because of the humidity. Mm -hmm. uh, scotch ages slower because of the colder temperatures. Um, how, how's the environment? So the most of the Brazilian distilleries are, you know, you are where you are, and it's humid as you are. Okay. But uh, at where we do it, we control we control the, uh, the temperature. Oh, excellent. We like we line the um, the what do you call them the big rooms, yeah. whatever you want to call them, storage storage, storage, storage aging storage yeah, areas. The They're all sort of either underground, controlled temperature. So okay. you know that that can all happen because yeah. The, so the, well, the variation in temperature can go like, and the yeah. humidity go up and down. I mean, how would you ever create a consistent how do you product? That? Yeah, yeah right. it would be so very difficult. So you have a controlled environment. Yeah. For, the yeah. for the aging, yeah, just the temperature wise. Is it, uh, is the humidity a higher or lower humidity? Uh, is it like outside right now? <laughs> it's certainly not that. <laughs> I was like, this is our one month aged product. Yeah. <laughs> I just told it yesterday, actually. Yeah. Uh, actually, it was burning. <laughs> um, I would say it's like, I, I, Typical cellar environment, okay. Um, cool. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, cool. cool. Not not cold, but cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll say right. and a little wet because I drink a bit now. You know, I'm still in and out. But I'll say it's like this room, like more or less okay. same temperature. Yeah. You know, so it's probably it's more humid than a. Uh, it does a, feel a humid. Area. I always feel quite humid when I go yeah. down there. Yeah. So the effect of the aging, like you're saying, uh, uh, that's a three-year aging. Uh, 
right? Yeah. One year, one year, one barrel, one year, another barrel, one year, another barrel. Um, those three years are probably going to mature faster than three years in a like English Kentucky. environment or whatever, yeah. or New England environment, Canada yeah. or whatever words we'll call it. And then we have to, and then there's also like the, the for, for a country which doesn't have or doesn't abide by too many regulations, the one thing that's very regulated is the Cachaca world. <laughs> so there's also, when you age it, you have to have maximum, how big the barrels? 750. 750 is the yeah. max, you can't get bigger than that. Um, there's a minimum of 200. Um, there's like, you can't be called premium unless you're over two years. Uh, uh, yeah, over two yeah. years. It's really regulated actually, right. very heavily regulated. Okay. Right. Brazil strikes me as a country with a lot of national pride. Right. Huge, yeah. I mean, in, in, in their sports teams, in their it's, it's, uh, it's an culture, and uh, it's an interesting one. I mean, I, I can say this actually as a foreigner. That, that's, why, uh, <laughs> that's why I'm very quiet. I'm just, <laughs> I, I like to listen to this. He's gonna you know? drop some knowledge. Oh my God! You tell me you disagree because we spend a lot of time trying to figure this out. Actually, okay. because one of the greatest things about the timing of us, you know, and why Kachas is coming out is that you've got you have the World Cup, you've had the Olympics, and the national pride, their national drink coming to the world stage. Right. I think. Brazilians, uh, personally, from what I've seen, they have a love-hate relationship with themselves. In the political ambit, mm -hmm. um, the corruption, sure. the, all that stuff, they're kind of embarrassed and angry at themselves. But then when they come into any creative area, whether it's graffiti artists, to the way they play their football, to the way they design stuff, to the architecture, right. they completely flourish. So I think, I think that's... Is, is, that, is that fair? Yeah, I think... Brazilian? I think it's really hard for it to... to like kind of like generalize. Well, that's what we sense. do. It's we're so uh, we're Americans. We can fit you in a box. Yeah, exactly. It's like, where, Which where box is it? Yeah, it's like God damn it. <laughs> but uh, but I feel like because Brazil is so big. Like if you go to the to the north, people look different. They they speak Portuguese, but they speak in a different like they 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 have like they call cachaça differently. You know, they call drinks differently. It's like each one has their own slangs in mm. Brazil and each one has like their, their own culture, like each like regional area of Brazil and right. their food and everything. So it, it's so vast and you have the massive coast, you know, you have the, the, the inland, you know, you have the massive countryside, you know, we call the, the Celeiro do Mundo, which is the... Minor thing called the Amazon. Minor thing called the Amazon, you know, so it's just like, it's, it's, it's really, really vast. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think given the, the, the size of it, like we're saying, I mean, you look at the US, there's a massive cultural difference between yeah. Maine and Florida, huge in, in England or, or, or well, Britain. You go all the way up to the tip of tip of Scotland. Okay, they're a bit different. I can kind of I was born in Scotland. You were zero years old in Scotland. Yeah, I was zero years old. Yeah, it was a great. Uh, I went over there after I graduated high school. My dad was in the military. That's why I was born ah, there. Okay. And uh, we're traveling up in a rental car and. Uh, it was fun. you could tell that there was a cultural difference between the English and the Scottish just oh. by how they talk about each other. I, th I oh. think a, a shop owner told us that the uh, the Scots invented copper wire. Because do you know this one? No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but success has many fathers. <laughs> there were uh, apparently two two Scottish women found a penny and neither one would let it go. Oh uh, yeah, I did that. I, I, I did that. <laughs> Uh, I think my, my Scottish jokes are slightly harsher, but we'll do yeah. it. Let's turn the camera off. Absolutely off. fine. I have too many Scottish friends. <laughs> They'll claim all me when I get home. <laughs>